Hi, I'm Justin Heidema, and welcome to my world. Hi, this is Ram with Art Moose TV. We have the extreme pleasure of having a young gentleman here today, Justin Heidema. And uh, he lives in the ocean most of the time, apparently, from the looks of his art. How's it going today? Good, how are you? Good, so you really do like the ocean. I love it. And you uh, spend some time surfing, diving, swimming, the whole nine yards? Yeah, all of that. And you take your camera with you, apparently. A lot of the time, yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of these pictures. This picture here is really pretty. It looks like a sunset photo. Yeah, just after the sun came down, um, got my flash out at this pool that borders the ocean. So you can see like a thin line at the top where the flash of the, the white of the flash just kind of goes into the black. What amazes me is how you can get the water to look so teal. Is it really that color when you're out there? Um, during sunset, when it's backlit, um, the waves do get that greenish blue color, and uh, it's awesome seeing that in real life. You really like to use the sun at your advantage then? Yeah, totally. So this guy here is getting ready to crash, I take it? Yeah, both of us were about to get pounded by that wave. Oh, so you were laying out there waiting for it to come down then? Yes. What I really like about your art is that you can, it has a fluid motion to it. And this piece here is a great example of it. Thank you. Um, this was taken using a really wide aperture. So you get that thin focus line. Um, and there was no wind at all this night. So just made for that really silky ocean look. And what's really neat, if you look at it really close, you can just see the sun setting right there. Yeah. And then sometimes you get this emerald blue color. That, yeah, that's usually in the morning during sunrise. Um, this is taken at Salt Creek where I'm at like twice a week. And um, just, I like how you can see that cylinder in the middle, perfect wave. So you go to school ever or were you just sneaking out going surfing a lot? <laughs> no, always in school, but when Smart I- Smart move, good answer in case your parents <laughs> see this. Yeah. And then this one, this looks like a uh, ice cave to me. It's kind of neat the way, what you've captured here. Thank you. Yeah, this was a, a lookout shot, so you, it's like what the surfer sees when he's in the barrel um, out in Laguna Beach during sunset. And then sometimes you take your camera underwater, I take it. Yes, this was a couple inches off the sand, so you can see the sun above the water and how it's coming across the sand, making those weird lines on it. And then you're, you sneak around in the tide pools also, don't you? Yeah, this was... Uh, this was a tide pool shot in Laguna, and um, you can see there's some purple sea urchins above and below the water, just out in the tide pools. That's really neat. Do the sea urchins there all the time, or do they just kind of come and go, or is it a... Um, yeah, they're usually there uh, year-round. And there's probably a lot of other small fish and stuff in there. Totally. I can't wait to see some of the other pictures. And then uh, this is a picture of you. Yeah, this is me um, out at Aliso Creek in Laguna just about to get pounded by the shore break. <laughs> so this is how you do it. You basically wear some flippers and go out there with the, the camera and you capture everything. And yeah, whatever exactly. you can find, you're just shooting. Mm -hmm. You're yes. very, very talented. I want to really thank you, Justin, for being on our show today. And I can't wait to see some more of your great art. No problem.